the events in this video are fictional as the characters portrayed within. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. Hello one and all, Mickey here. Now I'm going to be uploading this video preemptively because I'm going to be starting a new series with Squee called World's First XCOM vs Campaign. This video is going to explain how it's done because I know so many of you are going to ask, I'm going to explain it all here, but I have to point out, long story short, how it is done is manually using console commands. If you're not prepared to do that, then unfortunately I know of no other way that you can make XCOM versus unless you know a huge deal about modding XCOM. But if it's console commands you're using, then that I can explain it to you. But first, we need to find an enemy. Freedom! <laughs> Get over here and help me defend, you idiot! So here we have a pod of aliens. As I mentioned, um, all this is going to be done through the console commands, and I should have also mentioned that it will only function through hot seat, basically two people playing from the same machine. But first thing you're going to need is the console. I'm using the console for Long War, you can find it at the download section of the Long War page at the Nexus, and the link will be in the description below. There may also be a console version for Vanilla Long War. So we've got... XCOM and we've got the aliens. First thing you do before you start, you need some kind of anchor. Now what do I mean by anchor? Put it near your starting location just so it's out of the way and type in something like drop man. This will drop a civilian. It's going to be invisible but that's not a problem, you don't need to worry about it. All you do is have the cursor in the same place and type swap teams on nearest unit. Try not to put them in the extraction zone because then whenever the turns switch, the game's going to ask you if you want to extract. So this little guy is going to be our anchor. What do I mean by that? You'll see later. But nonetheless, I make sure I have an anchor before I start doing any kind of console commands and switching teams. So yes, this is all done via console commands. All you have to do is type in the console command, swap teams on nearest unit. Okay, so selecting flying units can be a bit tricky, as the console command suggests. It swaps teams on the nearest unit, obviously. So if you're having trouble selecting a flying unit, try shifting the camera around with the F buttons, F2 through 9. But now we have the enemy team, who is now friendly. And now before you switch to the XCOM soldier sides, type in AI skip AI. This will prevent any aliens taking their turns. Once that's done, switch oh XCOM side. And now you have the aliens under your control to do as you see fit. Okay then drones, bane of all rookies, let's get you off the ground and stop you being grenade bait. And sectoids, you guys really need to be in full cover. Here we go, this is looking a bit better. So after the aliens have taken all their turns, then it's just a simple case of using the console command, swap teams on nearest unit, to go back to XCOM side. Which is exactly why I have this anchor. When each side has taken their turns and finished, the game won't infinitely loop trying to switch to the enemy side. Because the game will see that there are no friendly units, but yet XCOM soldiers are still alive, but not in your control. So the game will infinitely loop trying to have the aliens take their turns. Which is why whenever you switch sides and end the turn, always type in AI skip AI. So now the question is, if you haven't noticed, if you use things for example like Overwatch and hunker down, then when you switch sides, the unit that you always switch side with never has any turns available. Which means you have to end the turn so they do. So just an example, we'll leave the rest of the XCOM soldiers as enemies and we'll end the turn so that the soldiers that I made friendly have their turn back. So now we have our turn back, but the sectoids that we'd be targeting have lost their overwatch and hunker down. So how do we fix this? Switch you guys back. So here's the thing, whenever you're using anything like overwatch or hunker down, and no, I can't work out how to get suppression to work properly without the turn ending and it cutting off, 
but how do you get Overwatch hunker down and steady weapon working? First, swap the enemy team, then end the turn so they do actually get moves back. Then you give any turn ending effects like Overwatch or hunker down to the unit that's about to swap sides. Then you switch sides. And now you can see the sectoids have kept their overwatch and hunker down. Well this guy you can't see that because he's out of view, but let's go find him. Yes! And surprise surprise that overwatch didn't trigger. The reason didn't trigger is because the AI was turned off. So AI skip AI, enables it on again, and now when you move a soldier, overwatch is triggered. Oh, good shot, little sector. And we can see this sectoid is in fact hunkered down. So that is pretty much the long and the short of it. I never said it was easy, I never said it wasn't convoluted, but this video is more for the sake of not getting flooded with comments asking how I made a versus campaign possible when I was playing with Squee. If you have the patience for it and you have a friend willing to watch as you input hundreds of console commands to get each turn working, then by all means have fun. The game is of course buggy when it's like this, for example things like suppression outright doesn't work, it doesn't last through the enemy turn. I haven't worked out any process of doing things to get suppression to work, so suppression is only going to function as a means of stopping the enemy from overwatching. Other things that don't work are things like the sectoids not being able to mind merge each other, because when the human is in control of the mind merge, the developers of the game never assumed that mind merge would be used on another alien. They assumed it'd be used on a human, so mind merge doesn't work either. I'm sure there are lots of other bugs like this in the game, but unfortunately this is the only way I've managed to get it working. Of course it goes without saying, when you're using so many console commands I recommend binding them to keys and the file you have to bind them in should be on the screen now and it's also a good idea to bind AI skip AI to the numlock key or any key that has a light on the keyboard so that whenever you press it and it's lit you know that the AI is on when you press it again and it's not lit then you know the AI is off because unfortunately there is no way of telling whether the AI is active or not and if you set a bunch of overwatches and you go to run them and the AI doesn't trigger then it can be a bit disappointing. Other things that are bugged are alien pods on the map. Alien pods on the map will trigger even though the unit moving is another alien. The only way I get around this is say for example there's a pod here that triggers. I kind of have an unwritten rule that the alien player isn't allowed to control them until XCOM comes in view of them. Of course this leaves a huge amount of exploits that can be done. There's nothing stopping the alien player from just falling back from one pot after another. So you're just going to have to rely on some sort of gentleman's agreement with whoever you're playing against. And stalemates can quite often happen. Again, it's just going to depend who you're playing against. But something to remember, the aliens are not going to give a shit about cover. Because why would they? It's just their job to do damage. So, to quickly summarise. Lay down an anchor. Something like drop man will do. Then put the cursor wherever that tile is. And type in swap teams on nearest unit. So that invisible civilian is under human control and the turn doesn't automatically end when all your moves are taken up. This way you can switch sides without the game trying to retake control. Step two, have XCOM take their turns. Step three, turn the AI off at the end of every turn and turn it back on at the beginning of every turn. So I'm about to switch the alien side, so turn the AI off. Next, switch the enemy's side before giving any commands such as overwatch or hunker down. Any turn that leaves a lasting effect on the soldier that lasts through the enemy turn. So let's switch the enemy's side first. And then end the turn. So the aliens get their moves back. Then end the current player's turns with whatever Overwatch, Hunker Down, or Steady Weapon you want. Then switch the friendly side. And now you have control over the aliens. And any effects that you want the enemy team to have are still in place, like Hunker Down and Overwatch. And the last thing is reactivate the AI so that all the overwatches actually function. 
So guys, anybody that's actually willing to go through this trouble, I hope you have fun with it. And everybody else who's going to point out in the comments that this is incredibly convoluted and, and difficult and tiring and tricky and pointless to do. As I mentioned, this is only for the sake of not getting flooded with comments about how I got the Versus campaign with Squee to work. So, have fun and I hope to see you in the next video.